have already been taken. Karen Tweedy doesn't know if naloxone could have saved her brother in his final days battling drug addiction. My brother died on the streets in Jeffersonville uh, five years ago. But the deputy chief for the Sellersburg Fire Department says this Nalox box, which holds the drug to reverse an opioid overdose, wasn't available to even try. Thanks to a partnership with Overdose Lifeline, it was installed outside of the fire department on Friday. So there is no lock to it. You just come up and this twists and opens. And so accessible in here is the one dose of naloxone. Overdoses have gone up since the start of the pandemic, according to the Clark County Health Department. And even though it's been leveling off the past few months, people are still in danger. I think the police chief had said two or three a week. You know, that's a lot. The department wants the community to know this is a safe zone. No questions asked, no judgment. They can come here. It's anonymous. There's no questions asked. There's no cameras beating down on them to see who takes what. Dr. Eric Yazel with the Clark County Health Department says while this is a first in southern Indiana, it won't be the last as plans are already in the works to install others throughout. We're starting to work on getting those out to some sites in the county as well. It's a relief for Tweedy as she thinks about the potential families in southern Indiana this can help. That if it only saved one person, then I can look at my mirror and say, we helped. In Clark County, Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.